Hi guys, Nomus here. Welcome back to Nomus Sound for episode number 24. The last time I built a bus station underneath the market hall, I did some expansions of apartments, shops, schools and parks around it. And for this episode, I will be building a modern transit hub with trains, metro and bus. Today we are moving across the river to get started on what will be the central business district. Even though the Björgvin district is not finished just yet, We'll be over here for a few episodes going forward. While I'm preparing some road networks, I'll briefly go into the history of this island, which is a district called Christiania, named after a former king called Christian. Björgvin had been pretty urbanized since all the way back in medieval times, but Christiania was a lot more rural during these times. But when we get to the 1600s, Björgvin had become overcrowded, the houses could not hold the rapid population growth, and the harbours could not take all the ships coming in, both in effect of becoming a very important trading port. More harbours were built over on the island of Christiania, and the whole island started becoming more urbanised very quickly. It only became more important when the royals got a new castle built here, built here in the late 1600s, and made it their new residence, leaving the old fortress in Björgvin for primarily military purposes. In the centuries to come, Christiana became the home to more important institutions for the city-state, like the parliament for example. The Industrial Revolution further cemented the growth of the district, when a lot of shipyards were built along the coast here, and quickly became one of the most important ship-producing cities in Northern Europe. The area that I'll start building in today is a former industrial site, which decades ago had a lot of shipyards which started becoming abandoned as industry was being pushed further away, mostly into a larger island further out. As the 21st century emerged, Nomusavn as a city had changed a lot and the needs with it. The economy was hugely focused on office jobs by now, and with the lack of space for this, the old abandoned shipyards was chosen as a spot for an entirely new business district. It would hold a new modern transit hub, reaching all corners of the city, with a large number of office skyscrapers, luxury housing, hotels and shops. There would also come some cultural officing in the area, which I will get further into in the future. But for now, the focus is on the transit hub. The layout of the station is actually more inspired by stations in Tokyo, in that it is kind of blended into the area. Not a single grand station building like you would see most places in Europe. For the front I use a long building that will serve as both the mall and station building. Like I have seen for example in Shinjuku station in Tokyo among others. There will also be some mid-rise office buildings blended into it. And then another station slash mall building at the back side of the station. First off I'm building 10 elevated platforms for the trains. This will in the long run take both long distance trains as well as local commuter and suburban trains going around the districts of the city. I'll put in escalators and elevators to access all the platforms for that modern look and a station built this recent will definitely cater to accessibility requirements. I started out hooking up both the escalators and elevators to the parts entering the station but the parting for the elevators made it seem just fly through the floor, so I'll end up removing that later. The elevators will just stay there as decoration, but I kind of prefer it that way to be honest. They look great with the animation of the elevators, but in real life very few would use it compared to the escalator, so there is no need for it to be functional really. Before I go into even more details on the platforms, I put in a line just to see it function. Of course with using station tracks it's being difficult with setting up lines, but I just had to shorten the tracks a little and it started working and people arrived at the station. To fill in some gaps underneath the elevated tracks, I wanted some modern glass facades. I achieved this by just finding different office buildings and turning it into PO so I can fit them to a space I need to fill. These can then look like smaller side entrances to the station and I will also try to get them to function like that with parts. When I did this whole build I sat for a long time in discord voice chat with some friends and I want to shout out especially Jan and Alas 
I'm sitting there with me for hours offering both emotional support and great feedback in this long process. Continuing on the detailing, you could have seen me put in glass fences and some marble tiles, which I think was a great fit. Some displays for the times of lines arriving and departing are always important, and I'll add some platform number signs to this. For the benches, I found some modern metro benches, which really looked perfect for the aesthetic of this station. While most of the platforms are covered with these big shelter networks, the end platforms on both sides didn't really have the space to fit those. So here I instead used the Copenhagen metro glass roofs. Around the platforms I will add some wayfinding signs. 
both for their directions to different platforms around the es escalators and elevators, and some signs pointing towards the bathrooms and elevators. Small details like these are what can really elevate the realism of these elevated train platforms, no pun intended. Where there is some open space by platform 1, I'll add some fast food restaurants with auto seating. And of course, like always, some signs for the station name, in case you're unfamiliar with the city and need to know where to get off. Since I'm building the transit hub of the district today, 
it's important to get the elevated railways laid out as well. Not getting all of them completed right now, but I want to get a rough idea of the directions coming out from the platforms in the station on both sides of it. The only networks that are complete are the tracks coming from platform 1 and 2 out to Bjorgvind station, since that is an active intercity line. Which means there is a high speed rail line coming from the outside and stopping in both stations, making for great interconnectivity. Because the railways has developed over a very long, long time, there's a few different types of networks to re reflect different eras of railways. Getting these networks in now will mean the district can get shaped around the railways, which is really very realistic for a city like this. The station approach is an important part of the look of a station, and I want to spend some time on these. A lot of overgrowth in the empty areas as well as extra sets of rail and small electric boxes. This is inspired by observations from real life. Where the tracks meet before the station, I'm also adding in a lot of connections. This will not be for interlining primarily, but future planning for a train depot somewhere on the island meant for the commuter lines. And because of this, I want to get all the tracks connected going out there. Signal props where it's appropriate is also a very important look around the station approach.
Let's talk a little about the metro. I'm adding in 8 platforms for the underground in total, on different levels and crossing over in different directions, which will be connected with the underground passages later. To get the platforms connected up, I'm extending some networks that start over in Björgvin. The road bridge across the river already has metro tracks on a lower level, and it's simply a case of getting it down to ground level before I control it, so slowly transition it underground towards the transit up. I'll also branch off a section which continues going elevated along one side of the island in a line that's not going to the station. Coming from Bryggen, the metro tracks are already underground and just need to continue across the river and swoop around the side to meet the other level of platforms, while also branching straight on to another line that doesn't go directly to the station. The design of the station is something I wanted to keep pretty modern. I found these seasoned white concrete walls gave a very interesting look. The elevators I'll cover up with some more modern looking ones to get that aesthetic further. But the main aspect of the stations I would say will be some murals added to the walls. For this I was a little inspired by Stockholm Metro, which I've seen has some artwork on the walls of underground stations. Newly built underground stations for a prestige project like this transit hub is where I think some unique artwork like this would make perfect sense. To increase the bike network, I built a new bike bridge parallel to the big bridge going across the river and further extending it path towards the tram boulevards with bike lanes. But first I used this great network called River Jump, but I had to remove it because the pedals were sadly not tall enough to get across here. I'll try to find elsewhere to use them as I look amazing, but for now I just might make a slightly custom bike bridge by using the steel pillars from the bay bridge just scale down slightly using PO.
finish off this video, I'll do some detail on the front of the station. Something that will be expanded on when I come to do the central business district that is around it. A combination of some beautiful tiles, planters and some bus platforms which can come in handy as the district and its transit needs grow. I mentioned earlier that the front building will also serve as a mall and to make it look like that I am adding a lot of store logos and a logo for the mall in addition to the big station name sign along with some transit agency branding. So that is it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it if you made it this far. Likes, comments and subscribes are greatly appreciated as always. The area looks kind of empty right now, but I'll put in a few short cinematics of what is built today's cell. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and hope to see you in the next one.